Hey everyone, it's Alicia Malone with Fandango Movie Clips here at the Toronto International Film Festival with Drew and Jonathan Scott, better known as the Property Brothers. Hey guys! Howdy, howdy. You could also just call us Drew and Scott. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm a bit nervous bringing you into our space. How does it look? I see we could definitely blow out that wall there, Add maybe push color. that back. Yeah. But you look fantastic. Oh, good. You. The only you. color pop right there in the logo. Now, well, of course, you guys know all about property and renovating homes. Now, your first series was in Toronto. That's so right. does that mean Toronto has an extra special place in your heart? This is sort of where we got our start with the whole Property Brothers franchise. And we also produce a massive gala here during the Toronto International Film Festival called the Producers Ball. So this is, this is like the home away from home. So when you guys travel a lot, do you say you take inspiration from different cities? We definitely do. We travel abroad. I mean, we're Scottish. We spend a lot of time uh, in Scotland and all across Europe. And I love taking, whether it's international design or whether it's commercial uh, application and infusing that into residential. What about movies? Do you watch movies in a different way? Do you look for inspiration? Absolutely. One of my favorite movies wasn't even in English. It didn't have subtitles. Life is Beautiful uh. Uh, with Roberto Benigni. And it was amazing. So I can watch film, whether it's just for the cinematography or whether it's for the performance and take something away from it, even if I don't understand exactly what they're saying. A lot of people don't actually realize we started in film and TV before we got into hosting Lifestyle and Unscripted. We were actors, I'm a director. We actually learned a lot of what we know with design as well from set tech, from what we were doing with design in film. So guys, of course, you know here at Fandango, we love movies and we love talking about movie experiences. So we're gonna chat to you about your first time. Are you ready? I am ready. I've been saving myself. We'll start with you, Drew. Oh. The story behind the first time you saw an R-rated movie. I think it, oh gosh, I wouldn't even Do know. Do you remember? Do you, yeah, th we would have done it together, I'm sure, because we were inseparable as kids. <laughs> I'm guessing it was probably. I remember what, what I saw. It was The uh, Exorcist, uh. and I got in so much trouble because I snuck in to see it, and the only thing that actually scared me in that movie was the split pea soup flying out. Oh. That was it. When did you first hold hands or kiss someone? in a movie theater. Most embarrassing ever. So I was young. Most embarrassing, I, he's never actually kissed a girl <laughs> or held I'm hands. still looking. Uh, I was in a movie and I remember I went on a date, but I was <laughs> chaperoned by my father. And at one point during the movie, she leaned in to whisper something in my ear and my dad thought that she leaned in to kiss me. So he grabbed my head because he was sitting behind us and he moved my head over. And I was mortified and I never got the kiss. So she, she never called you back? Yeah, no, I never <laughs> no, got second date. So weird. Well, thank you, Drew and Jonathan Scott, for joining us here on Fandango Movie Clips. I'm Alicia Malone. Bye.